This is a series of videos that will walk through the setup of a server using the Google Cloud Platform. In this short video, all we're going to do is get a Google Cloud Platform instance up and running. However, after this video, there's a group of videos that will finish setting up a LAMP environment, and there's a group of videos that will finish setting up a Node.js environment. So, I've logged into my Google Cloud dashboard. I've created a new project. Let's create a new server. So in our main menu, I'm going to scroll down to Compute Engine and then VM Instances. And let's create a new instance. So first, let's give this a instance name. I'm just gonna call it testing server. The name is really only for your own reference. It doesn't play any other role. I'm going to choose the most basic server. And I'm gonna choose Ubuntu for my operating system. Hey, lastly, I want to allow web traffic, so I'm going to open up ports for HTTP and HTTPS and click Create. So our server is up and running. Now, one thing that will be crucial is later on in this process, I'm going to connect a subdomain to this server. So I'm going to need my external IP address. However, that external IP address is currently not static. If this server were to reboot, that IP address would likely change. So I want to change that IP address. So I'm gonna go into my main menu, into networking, and then VPC network, and go to external IP addresses. I'm gonna change this one from my testing server into a static IP address. I can give it a name. I'm just gonna use the same name as my server. Uh, I don't need a description and click reserve. So now anytime my testing server restarts, it will always reserve. It will always use the same IP address. Now I can go back to my server open up an SSH window, and now I can start installing whatever environment I want to install. So for now, let's just run a quick update, make sure everything is up to date. In the next video, I'm gonna walk you through setting up an FTP connection. Later on in the process, we'll need an FTP connection to upload either our PHP or Node.js app. And then after that, pick either the Node.js route to finish a Node.js server or the LAMP route to, to finish setting up a PHP application.